Hi everyone, this is Emmy. Today I'm going to show you how to make these easy flip-flop covers. So let's get started. And I'm working with some cotton worsted yarn and a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook. And I'm going to start with a slip knot and I'm going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Slip stitch to join and form a ring. And there's the ring. And now I'm going to chain two. One, two. And that's going to take the place of the first double crochet. So I'm going to make another double crochet. And a third double crochet. That's three double crochet. Now I'm going to chain two. One, two. And I'm going to make three double crochet. I'm going to chain two, one, two. And I'm going to repeat that. I'm going to make three double crochet and a chain two. So three double crochet, one, two, three chain two and three double crochet one two and three I'm going to chain two one two and I'm going to find that first chain two and I'm going to slip stitch to join in the top of the chain two fasten off and there's how that looks you have four corners I'm going to attach another color yarn in any of these corner stitches. Pull the yarn through, take one stitch with both the yarn end and the working yarn just to lock it in place. Take one additional stitch and that's going to be the equivalent of the first double crochet. Make one more double crochet in that same space. Now double crochet in each one of these double crochet stitches. So one two and three. Now in the chain one space you're going to make two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. So two double crochet, chain two, and two double crochet. Like that. And that forms your corner stitch. So this is this part. Now double crochet in each of these double crochet stitches. Make two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet in the chain two space. Double crochet in each of those double crochet stitches. Make a corner stitch here and double crochet in each of those. And I'll show you what to do when we get back here. I'm just going to speed up and finish this. Okay, I worked all the way around, making a double crochet in each double crochet and a corner stitch in each corner stitch. And I'm all the way back here. So now I'm going to add an additional two double crochet to finish this corner. So two double crochet. And then I'm going to chain two, one, two. And then I'm going to find the top of that first chain two. And I'm going to slip stitch to join. And I'm going to have a granny square. Fasten off. There's what that looks like and that is the center of this motif. So now we're going to do these two rows. Attach yarn in any stitch. Lock it in. Take one additional st chain stitch and then double crochet in every stitch up to the corner stitch. In the corner stitch make two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet and that's what you'll do all the way around. So I'm just going to go ahead and go to this corner and it's going to be the same for this row and for the next row. If you're making these for a child, you could work with single crochet stitches instead of double. Okay, so I worked all the way over, and now in the corner I'm going to make two double crochet. One, two, chain two, one, two, and two double crochet. One, and two. 
So that's what you'll do all the way around. Double crochet, make a corner stitch, double crochet, make a corner stitch, double crochet, corner stitch. Slip stitch to join in the top of the chain two. And then you'll do another row exactly the same in another color. And then you're going to place your motif over the top of the flip-flops. Through each one of these corner stitches you're going to pass a length of cotton yarn. They're going to be placed directly over this flip-flop section. And here's my front tie for the, for the toe. So I'm just going to take them like this and I'm going to crisscross them around that toe shank. And then I'm going to tie these in a square knot. One square knot like that. And then I'm going to come from underneath and I'm going to bring one yarn in through this row. And then I'm going to go to the next row and I'm going to bring the other yarn end. And then I'm going to tie this in a bow. Like that. And I did exactly the same on the two sides. I crisscrossed and then tied. Up here I passed a long cord of cotton worsted. If you like you could chain a cord and use that, but I found it was okay to just use the cotton worsted like this. And that's it. That's how easy it is to make these colorful flip-flop covers. And I'll put them on my foot and show you what they look like.